Hey, Shalom Most High Christ bless. I'm Officer Mordecai with the Lions of Zion. And again, we are out here to show our people who we are according to the Bible. That's right. right. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the true children of God. That's right. Y'all are the biblical Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the true children of God. That's right. All right. And we're teaching our people how to come back to our Heavenly Father. Right? how to come out of the state of mind, how to come out of these conditions that we live in, all right? So let me get that in Isaiah 5 and 20 real quick because what we're doing here today, a lot of our people got a controversy with us because we come out and we try to get our people to come out of the sin that they are in, right? We tell our people, stop gangbanging. We tell our people, stop selling drugs. We tell our people, stop whoring out your sisters. Bring it up. We tell our people, stop hating your brother. Stop shooting your people. We tell our people, stop getting drunk, right? We tell our people, stop stealing cars, right? Stop doing all these things against your own people, right? We showing our people the way to come out of this and show our Heavenly Father that we love Him and that He can bless us. Give me that in Isaiah 5 and 20. The book of Isaiah, chapter 5 and verse 20. Come on. Woe unto them that call evil good. Destruction unto all the people that call evil good. That's right. Read again. Woe unto them that call evil good. If you call going to church a good thing, destruction unto you. Bring it up. That's right. If you call it a good thing that I can smoke weed to cope with my emotions, woe unto you. That's right. Destruction unto you if you call getting drunk a good thing. Bring it up. Destruction right. unto you. Read it again. Woe unto them that call evil good. Destruction unto you if you think that you can buy food on the seventh day just because you're hungry. That's right. Destruction unto you. Woe unto you because you think you can shop today just because you worked Monday through Friday. Bring it up. Bring it up. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil and good evil. You're called keeping the commandments of God evil. Read. That put darkness for light uh -huh. and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Y'all switch everything around. Read. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes. Hey, destruction unto you that is wise in your own eyes. Give me that uh, Proverbs 3 and 5. Hold that if that, if that wasn't the end of that. Let's see how you're supposed to be. Are you supposed to be wise in your own eyes? Is that the way God wants us to live? Because clearly, being wise in our own eyes got us in this condition we're in today. Bring it up. That's why we're in the slums and the ghettos, right? That's why we ready to kill our brother and sister for no damn reason, right? Read. The book of Proverbs, chapter three and verse five. Bring it up. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, uh -huh. and lean not unto thine own understanding. The Lord said, lean what? Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, uh -huh. and lean not unto thine own understanding. Right. He said, trust in the Lord, and don't lean unto your understanding. What you think is wise ain't wise. You ain't got no wisdom if it ain't for this Bible. Bring it up. Understand that. So our people wanted to do their own thing Guess where it got you? In the very predicament that you in. Drunk and high on the corners of, of Babylon, of America. Right? Walking throughout the streets, acting crazy. Understand that. Read again. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. He going to direct your path as long as you acknowledge him. As long as you say that he is the reason why I'm here today and you repent of your sins. Let's go back to Isaiah 5. Bring that back up. The book of Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 21. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. And wise in your own sight. You ain't wise according to God. You wise according to yourself. Give me Jeremiah 4.22. This is the 
kind of, and you can hold that, this the kind of wisdom that all people are, or that all people got, excuse me. Our people wise as hell to do evil. Bring it out. Jeremiah 4.22. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 4 and verse 22. Bring it out. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. What did the Lord say? For my people is foolish. He said his people, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are foolish. Bring it out. Foolish. God said, y'all are foolish. And that ain't it. Watch this. They have not known me. God said, y'all have not known him. Come on. They are sottish children. He said, y'all are sottish. Y'all stupid as hell. Bring it out. Since y'all want to be wise in your own eyes, y'all stupid. Come on. And they have not understanding. Y'all ain't got no understanding when it comes to this Bible. Come on. They are wise to do evil. That's the kind of wisdom that our people got. Wisdom to do evil. Right? Wisdom to do evil. So therefore the Lord God said, Woe unto my people that are wise in their own eyes. Bring it out. Hey, my brothers and sisters. Hey, my brothers and sisters. Hey, y'all. Hey. hey. God said, don't be wise. Yeah, y'all right there. God said, don't be wise in your own eyes. Bring it out. Right? Y'all need to be coming to figure out how to be wise according to God's knowledge and not according to your own. Go back to Isaiah 5. Man, nobody want to hear the, uh, God's words. That's why he said destruction unto you. Hey, check this out. The heathen want to hear the words of God rather than our own people. He said, hey, give me that, uh, hold that, uh, Ezekiel 3. Give me that in Ezekiel 3. That's the prime example of what just happened right now. The other nations will rather hear God's word than his own people. Bring it out. That's a damn shame. Come on. Uh, you know what I want? Yeah. All right. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 3 and verse 5. Bring it out. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech and of a hard la language. So God didn't send us unto the other nations. Right? Watch this. But to the house of Israel. But only to the house of Israel. That's right. right. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's it. Read. Not to many people of a strange speech and of a hard language, uh -huh. whose words thou canst not understand. Surely, surely, without a doubt. Come on. Had I sent thee to them, if God sent us to the white man, to the Chinese man, to the Arab man, to the uh, help me out, Indi East Indian man, right? To the Japanese man, to the African nations. Surely, read it again. Surely, had I sent them, had I sent thee to them, uh -huh. they would have hearkened unto thee. They would have listened unto us. But it's something about. The black, Hispanic, and Native American. They don't want to hear nothing thus said the Lord. Y'all don't want to fix nothing in your neighborhoods. That's what we're here for. But y'all don't want to hear damn nothing that God wants y'all to do. But if the other nations was around, they would hear everything. Come on. Check it out, but the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee. Come on. For they will not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are impudent and hard-hearted. God said, you're hard-headed as hell and you're unwise. Bring it out. You're stupid. Look at your conditions. Right? Y'all don't think about the way that y'all live, dress, act. He said, y'all stupid as hell. Y'all willing to walk in the middle of the streets and get hit by cars, damn it. He said, y'all stupid as hell. Bring it up. Y'all willing to get drunk early in the morning. Y'all stupid as hell. Hey, he said, y'all going to the club every night. Y'all stupid as hell. Y'all rather be baby daddies and baby mamas. Teach up. Y'all stupid as hell. Excuse me, my voice going out. Hey, he said, y'all stupid as hell how the way y'all act. Was that it or not? Go back to Isaiah 5. Was that 21? Read 21 again. Isaiah 5 and verse 21. This 
the book of Isaiah, chapter 5 and verse 21. Bring it Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes, and prudent in their own sight. Woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine, and men, and men of strength to mingle with strong drink. You know what the Lord said? Woe unto you that is mighty to drink wine. Right? So that's going into the lies. But hey, what are people out here doing? Getting drunk as hell early in the morning. Bring it out. God said, woe unto you that is mighty to drink wine. And to follow the strong drink. We got to change the conditions that we are in. Bring it out. The only way our conditions are going to change if you're tired of being a damn baby mama, if you're tired of being a baby daddy, if you're tired of your people robbing, if you're tired of your people stealing, if you're tired of your people getting murdered. Bring it out. Right. If you're tired of all the carjackers, key boys, all this dumbass stuff. Bring it out. Bring it God out. said you got to keep the laws. It's the only way we're going to get out of these conditions. Like, uh, what was that? What was that verse? Keep going. Therefore, as the fire devoured the stubble, and the flame consumed the chaff, so their root shall be rottenness, and their blossom shall go up as dust. And the Lord said, hell fire for you, if you want to be wise in your own eyes. Bring it out. And my sisters and my brothers, if y'all ain't never heard, y'all the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. I know you may not want to hear it right now, hey, but trust and believe it's going to come a day where y'all wish that y'all heard these words. Bring it out. It's going to be a day where we can't get on these corners no more. Give me that in Ezekiel 33. It's going to come a day where y'all wish y'all understood what we was bringing up. Bring it up. Y'all ain't going to be singing. I mean, y'all ain't going to be listening to no damn Akon no more. Bring it up. I'm locked up. Won't let me out. Bring that, it up. That, that was for that brother right there. Bring it up. Brothers out. don't want to hear the word of God. Hey, get this sister flying for me. Hey, hey sis. sis. So you a child according to God. You ever heard that you was an Israelite before? You never heard that? You got some time? A couple minutes? Just a couple minutes, real quick, real quick. You at work? Call All right. number on the back. All right, we'll read that flyer, sis. Check that out. Ezekiel 33 and verse 30. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 33 and verse 30. Bring it out. Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses. Right, so y'all stay far away from us talking against us in the doors of the houses and against the walls. And look at these niggas on the street corner. Again, teaching. Weren't they just here two weeks ago? Right? Oh, they coming back teaching the same word of God? Right? To hell with that Bible. That Bible thumpers. Y'all talking all the SH in the world against the prophets of God. Bring it up. Come on. And speak one to another, every one his brother say, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh forth from the Lord. Right? Hey, let's go hear what they're bringing out of that Bible. Come on. And they come unto thee as the people cometh. And they come unto thee as the people cometh. Right? Come on. And they sit before thee as my people and hear thy words, but they will not. Do them. So it's a lot of our people that come and do hear this word, right? They do come and check out the word of God, and they understand that they Israelites, but they will not do what? But they will not do them. But y'all don't listen, or y'all don't do the word of God. Y'all don't do that which will change y'all under or y'all circumstances. Bring it up. Come on. For with their mouth they show much love. But with your mouth, with your mouth. Our people got the greatest lip service ever, right? We got the gift of gab. Come on. But their heart goes after their covetousness. Right? Y'all say, okay, all praise. Yeah, we Israelites. Hey, that's new. I never heard that. Hey, I'm above all nations, all praises. But once it comes down to you actually having to change, y'all go after your covetousness. Bring it out. Y'all say, to hell with that Bible. I'm not really trying to change. I'm not trying to come forth to the prophets of God and see what I got to do and to, uh, to be better with the Most High God. Right? Read on. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song. Go ahead, go ahead. Hey, come, come over here. Come over here. Come over here. 
and lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that have a pleasant voice. Hey, so y'all, y'all hear the words of God as a very lovely song. Hey, think of it as today as y'all hear a little baby, future, Drake, uh, uh, Pop Smoke, whoever the hell you want to name, right? All the people that y'all love to hear, that's how the word of God sounds to y'all ears. Read on. Hey, stay, stay patient, my brother. Stay patient, stay patient. Hey, can y'all come over here? Y'all come over right here? Right here, right here, right here. here. Y'all come deal with me. What's, what's your question? We the lions of Zion. That's right. Right? We the lions of Zion, and we teach our people who we are according to the laws of God. All right? So if y'all ain't never heard it before, y'all not African Americans, if that's what y'all go by. Y'all not niggas. Y'all not speaks if y'all Hispanic, right? I know y'all ain't never heard that before. That might sound... Huh? How come y'all aren't African Americans? I'm about to show you. Watch this. Uh, let me get. Uh, That's what I said. Where is that? Right here. Right, yep, right, right there. Hold that up. Hold that up. All right. So check this out. These are two people that conquered two lands, right? One of them conquered America. That's America Vespucci, right? And one conquered. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, America and one conquered Africa. And that's Leo Scipio Africanus. These two people are the African American name, so called. That's where it comes from. He named Africa, he named America. Do y'all descend from two white people? Are, yeah. No, no, no. Yes, it do. Bring it up. Because before it was called um, America, it was called something else. And before it was called Africa, it was called something else. So yes, it do. Y'all not African American, and God does say that. Hey, what's that? Uh, yeah, I'm about to say something. Say something. Jeremiah. Just said, can you show me where God says we not African American? Where that said in Jeremiah six is that thirty three and one about you shall leave your name for a curse. Yeah, let me get that. Hey, God said we're going to leave our name, our nationality as a curse because we, we didn't want to act as his people. So therefore, I'm going to make y'all abide under a different name and under a different God. Isaiah and a different 65, law. 15. Yeah, Isaiah 65, 15. Watch this. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, I got you. Listen, watch this. First, I'm about to show y'all about the name. That's what y'all inquired about, right? The name. Watch this. The book of Isaiah, chapter 65 and verse 15. Bring it up. And ye shall leave your name. Ye shall what? Ye shall leave your name. Ye shall leave your God-given nationality. We are the Israelites. That's we right. are not African American. We are not niggas. We are not Hispanics. We are not Native Americans. Say it again. Read it again. And ye shall leave your name for a curse. For a what? For a curse. That's a curse. When you are given a different nationality, God said, read. Unto my chosen, uh, for the Lord shall slay thee. The Lord shall slay thee. He took our name from us. Hey, give me that Jeremiah 7. Oh, it's more right, go ahead. For the Lord God shall slay thee and call his servants by another name. Another name. Y'all see that? The service of God are the Israelites. All right, give me that uh, Jeremiah 7 14. Uh, no, 17 14. 17 14. Give me that Jeremiah 17 14. So, according to the Bible, if you call yourself an African American, you come from the tribe of Judah. I believe, I believe that the black people are the Israelites. Okay, okay, good, good. We are teaching that. We are teaching that to our people. That's right. What is the matter that you call us the African American? You know what I mean? It matters more, especially with people right now. We really need that people. All right. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. When when you go to when we go to heaven, right? When we, when you enter into them gates, let me ask you this. On them gates, is it going to say African American? 
All right, wait, hold on. We gotta let the word of God speak. You said you don't think it's gonna say any of that, right? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me respond to that. Let me respond to that. You said you don't think it's gonna say none of that. Let's let God speak and let every man be a liar. Bring it up. Right? We, we ain't gonna go off our thoughts. Watch this, watch this. The book of Revelation, chapter 21 and verse 12. Bring it up. And had a wall, great and high, and had 12 gates. How many gates? 12 gates. Do y'all know what we're reading about right now? The kingdom of heaven. The kingdom, the, hold on. The kingdom of heaven is what we're reading about. Now you said yourself, you don't think that it's gonna have no names on the heaven gates. No. Read, is a, I asked you, is an African American getting into the kingdom of heaven? Watch this. And had a wall, great and high, and had 12 gates, and at the gates, 12 angels, and names written thereon. So there's names written on these gates. Let's see if there's a gate that say African American, Hispanic, Native American, Christian, Presbyterian, Catholic, Mormon, Muslim, Islam, let's see. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel? That's so right. These gates, the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Bring it out. Ain't no damn African American, Negro, Hispanic, Afro American, uh, Asian, whatever the hell you want to call yourself. If you don't go by these names, you ain't getting the gates. That's Watch right. this. Give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Watch this. Let's see if God call you an African American. God said his children are the Israelites. That's so if right. you know you're an Israelite, why not go by your God-given nationality? Why continue to go by African American when you know that wasn't a name given to you by God? Teach, huh? That was a name given to you when you went into slavery. Why keep that name? Huh? Why? For what? What's the point in that? When they hear you say after, when they hear you say Israelite, they shake it in their boots. Bring it up. This yeah. earth about to get turned upside down when they see all the Israelites repent, sis. That's what that's what brings us to heaven is because we're Israelites. We say that's God, one, what I'm about to read. I'm about to read. I'm about to read. I'm about to read. Yes, yes, absolutely. Because first and foremost, listen, on first and foremost. Give me Matthew 19. Come on. The book of First Kings, chapter 8, verse 46. Bring it up. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not. So as a nation of people, we have sinned against God. None of us have went without sin before. Understand that, all right? Read. And thou be angry with them. God be angry with us. Come on. And deliver them to the enemy. God delivered us into the enemy. Y'all see that right there in front of y'all. Slavery. Read. And so that they carried them away captives unto the land of the enemy far or near. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves. What does it mean to bethink yourself? No. What does it mean to bethink yourself? I'll ask you a question. What does it mean to bethink yourself? Alright, I'll tell you. It means to remember who you are. That's right. That's what it means. So we're not African Americans no more. And I'm gonna show you how to get into heaven in Matthew 19. It means to remember who you are. Yes, you got brought up here in slavery as African Americans. That's your biblical nationality. That's our biblical nationality. That's who we are today. We are Israelites today. No, he already know who you are. He waiting on you. Listen, he waiting on you to bethink yourself. That's right. Remember, he want you to remember who you are. That's why we out here to show you who you are and the conditions that you are in and why you were brought over here. We were brought over here for a curse. Listen, we're not, we're not out here for white people. We're not out here for them. Give me Matthew 19. Because you asked me, is, is that the only way I'm going to get into heaven? Is by being an Israelite. Watch this. Hold on. Hold on. I got to answer your other question. I got to answer your other question. I got to show you how you're going to get into heaven. Yes. Yes. First and foremost. Excuse me. 
first and foremost, you have to be an Israelite. Yes, you have to say, I'm an Israelite. Absolutely. He said you got to predict yourself in the land where you was carried captive. Yes. Come on. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. Bring it up. And behold, what came and said unto them, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? What's eternal life? What is it? No, no, no. I'm not. No, no, no. No, no. Ain't nobody putting words in the Bible says. I asked you a question. What is eternal life? What's eternal life, my brother? I, I can't hear you. The kingdom of heaven, right? So eternal life is the kingdom of heaven. Watch this. And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? Come on. There is none good but one that is God. So Christ told the brother, it's only one that's good. That's the heavenly father. Come on. But, 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 watch this. If thou will enter into life, the kingdom of heaven, watch this. Keep the commandments. So not only do you have to say, yes, I have to bethink myself and say I'm an Israelite from the tribe of whatever tribe you're from, but you also have to do what? Keep the commandments. That's so right. Keep the commandments. Let me have Revelation 22, 14. I'll go to the last book for you, but I ain't going to that verse. I I'll show you something. I'll show you something. Watch this. Because ain't nobody adding or subtracting from the book of God. Ain't nobody doing that. We read it straight from it. Come on. The book of Revelation, chapter 22, verse 14. Hey, I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you one thing. Hey, the book of Psalms, chapter 111 and 10, tell you this. You don't have a good understanding of this Bible if you not keep a commandments. And that's not, I ain't coming at y'all, but I'm telling y'all, listen. This is what we do. We study this Bible every day. We live this Bible literally. Alright? So we're trying to show y'all if y'all hold on sis. Hold on. No, no. So we're trying to show y'all. If you really want listen, bro, bro. Listen, if you want to get into the kingdom of heaven, you gotta listen to the men that's up here teaching this Bible. The church house ain't teaching our people how to change our communities. It's still robbing, right? It's still drug slanging, right? It's still gang banging, it's still hoarding, it's still prostitution, right? We are here teaching change that stuff. Watch this. Blessed are they that do his commandments. Because that's how you get into the kingdom of heaven. That's right. That's what we're teaching our people. So our sister that's telling us, if we can't be Israelite, do we got to get Israelite? Yes. You got to be an Israelite that keep the commandments. That's Come right. Blessed are they that do his commandments. And if you notice, he said, blessed are they that do the commandments. So if you ain't doing the commandments, ain't no damn blessings. Come that's on. right. That they may have right to the tree of life. That you may have right to the tree of life. And may enter in through the gates into the city. See that? We just read the second the same thing again. That's how you enter into the gates, keeping the commandments. But watch this. For without or for without outside of the kingdom of heaven, that's not getting into the kingdom of heaven is what? Our dogs. Our dogs. The other nations. They're not getting into the kingdom of heaven. Come on. And sorcerers. And sorcerers. If you into witchcraft, voodoo, all that nonsense, you ain't getting in the kingdom of heaven. Come on. And whoremongers. Whoremongers. If you sleeping from partner to partner to partner, you ain't getting into the kingdom of heaven. Come on. And murderers. And murderers. If you hate your brother in your heart, if you an actual murderer, you ain't getting into the kingdom of heaven. Come on. And idolater. If you serve another God, you ain't getting into the kingdom of heaven. Come on. And whosoever loveth and make it a lie. If you love that you are African American, you ain't getting to the kingdom of heaven. That's right. If you make a lie, you ain't getting into the kingdom of heaven. That's right. You understand that. Give me Acts 319. Yes, you can repent. That's what I was bringing out of First Kings. Hold on. Don't let her don't let her take you away. I, I, don't let her. I'm just telling I'm letting you know. I, I got you, brother. I got you. You said repentance, right? I got you. Acts 319. The book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Bring it up. Repent, ye therefore. Hold on, hold on. Hey, what's your name, brother? I I, I need your full divided attention. You, you can't miss this. I mean, undivided. Read it again. Repent, ye therefore, and be converted. See, God said, repent, ye therefore, and be converted. 
if you if you are a murderer, a whoremonger, a, a you know any a drug abuser, an alcoholic, you can repent. Yes, but you have to repent as an Israelite. Understand that those people that do not or that do these things are not Israelites. We act as the heathen nations. We act as Gentiles. Read. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. So if you want your sins blotted out, yes, you have to repent, okay? But only as an Israelite. You can't repent as an African American because you still got an African American mindset. African Americans do what they want. Look at the African Americans, African Americans today. They do what they want right now. African Americans sag their pants. African Americans don't wear fringes. African Americans don't read this Bible. African Americans go to the church house. African Americans rock the cross. African Americans uh, uh, love the hoods and the ghettos. Right, African Americans break the Sabbath. That's what African Americans do, right? But Israelites, they do the opposite. Right. Watch this. The book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse seven. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. So when he said repent and be converted, this is how he meant so, keep the laws. Right? Is that it or not? The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The testimony of God or Christ is sure, and it makes wise the simple. So we all used to be simple as hell until we came into the laws of God. Understand that. We used to be African Americans too until we realized that we are the Israelites. I got to be an Israelite. Hey, can I get one more scripture? One more. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Because God does not want his people coming back to him as African Americans, Afro Americans, Hispanics, Spicks, Jigaboos, uh, uh, let me out, what's the more that they call us? Coons. Coons, damn, Coons for sure. What is, moon crickets, all these, Sambos, all these different names that they call us, God don't want us coming back as these things. Those are called proverbs, right? They call us these things, right? Watch this. Or not proverbs. Uh, what's it called? What's it called? Uh, help me out. What's it called? What, uh, they don't call us proverbs. Uh, bywords. By Damn, words. I couldn't get it out of my mind from that. Bywords. Watch this, bro. Hey, what's your name? Matthew. All friends. Brother Matthew. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. This, this is what God expects of us. Let's see if he talking to the African Americans or the Hispanics or the Native Americans. Let's see. And now Israel. Who? And now Israel. No, African American. And now Israel. What does the Lord thy God require of thee? So God said, Israelites, what do I require of thee? If you come from Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Nephtali, Manasseh, uh, Issachar, whatever it may be. Go ahead. Read it from the top. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God. First thing he said, fear me. Fear my judgments. Fear that I could kill you at any given moment. Fear that you won't make it on them chariots when they come back. Fear that you're going to be a part of that World War III nuclear fire. Fear that you ain't going to make it into the heaven gates. Fear that. Fear that I got the power to stop you from making it into everlasting life. Fear that. Watch this. To walk in all his ways. So these are the uh, requirements. First, fear him. Second, walk in all his ways. Read. And to love him. Third, love God. Do you love God? How do you show God you love him? I, I'm, oh, you ain't had to get it. This is, uh, you this is going on. All right, so this is the requirements of God. Fear him. Walk in his ways. Love him. Read. To serve him, to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. And also to serve God. Watch this, bro, uh, Matthew. This is how you love God. This is how you love God. This is how you love God. God, read. To keep the commandments of the Lord. Read it again. To keep 
the commandments of the Lord uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day uh -huh. for thy good. See that? That's how you show the Lord that God you fear him. That's how you serve God. That's how you love God, right? You got to keep the commandments of God, all right? right. So with that, I'm going to say shalom, and I'm going to let the next uh, teacher come up and edify the people.